Hello, welcome to the Gaming Wildlife Foundation. I'm the director, Ian Weaver, and I thought it would be a fun little change of pace this week to show you the mind behind the whole series, Charles. Hello! Thank you for letting us do this, Charles. Ah, huh? Master Charles? I... Right. Master Charles Davenow Bates. You really like that name, don't you? My family has earned that name. It's part of my heritage. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, where you're actually from. My ancestry is a mixture of Aussie, Welsh, Finnish, North London, and Southern America. Really? Really. Okay, so tell me about your background, how you came from North London to America. Ah, my background consists of a long line of documentarians. My great Grandfather was one of the first pioneers of motion pictures back in the turn of the century in Australia. His love of film caused my grandfather to become a wildlife photographer in his youth. He traveled Europe until ending up in England, where my father was born. My father moved out to America and was a guerrilla documentarian in the 80s, taking his camera everywhere and documenting some of the biggest moments in American history. Wow. I was born in Texas, but moved back to Wales during my university years and studied nature. I wanted to become a great documentarian like my father's before me. So have you found any success in Wales? Not much. But a few years after graduating, I discovered a culture I became most fascinated with. The gaming culture. Exactly! The most interesting thing I discovered about this culture is their similarities to the animal kingdom. Wait. What? The gaming culture is very animalistic and reminds me of many primitive species I've seen in nature. That's not exactly true. That's why I came back to the States. I wanted to see the biggest population of gamers in all of its splendor and glory. What, you didn't tell me this when we started the show? Well, you were so eager to do something with your film degree, you seemed like you would take on any project at that point. I'm glad I snatched you up for mine. Moving on. Uh, so tell us your prior experience with games. What do you mean? Games. How you came to document gamers as opposed to other species, as you call it. Well, I had seen the gaming culture rise up from when I was a child to the monstrosity it is now. People seem so obsessed with it. Seemed like a great subject for a documentary. So what was your first console growing up? Console? Well, what console did you play growing up? Were you into Nintendo or Sega? Uh, were you an Atari guy? Maybe you played PlayStation? Xbox? PC? I've owned personal computers before, if that's what you mean. What was the first video game you ever actually played? I've never played a video game. What?! I don't play games. It's a waste of time for me. How could you do a documentary about video games without ever actually playing them? Do I mate or live with tigers before doing a documentary on them? No. So why should I play video games? Because you're doing a documentary about them. It's not necessary. It is if you want it to be accurate. Well, that is your job. Well, what do you know about the gaming culture? Just what we've done episodes about. How is this possible? You've shown me research studies into elements of video games, whole scripts about people and gaming culture. You found experts to talk about video games. Did you make all of that up? I have connections here in the States, out in Europe, and Australia to people who know about gaming. I simply ask them to provide the research, and I give it to you to write. What? Well, it's pretty simple. It's how I did documentaries in Wales. How could you talk so much about gaming without ever actually knowing anything about it? People do this all the time nowadays with their Twitter, their Facebooks, their Reddits, their Channel 4s, and their Your Space. My Space. Exactly. Ugh. Look. I joined this project thinking that I could paint gamers in a positive light, not use them like animals in nature. Well, then that is your responsibility. If you honestly don't know anything about video games, then why should we continue this series? Well, that is your problem, not mine. It's my problem. It's my problem. All right. All right. 
What are you doing? Oh, I'm just sending out a couple of messages to some friends. We are going to educate you on the culture of video games. What?